Okay, this is going to be a quick video on how to fix the backlighting on a Samsung uh, SyncMaster 204B. Um, this will also apply to the uh, SyncMaster 204T model as well. Uh, there might be other models that share the same board. Uh, here's a picture of the board so you can take a good look at it. open up one of your Samsung monitors, another different model, and see if it has the same power board. Um, what happens with these monitors is, after a while, the uh, screen doesn't want to light up anymore. You'll go to turn it on in the morning, and it'll take, you know, 30 seconds to a minute or a couple of minutes um, to, to have the light, the backlight on the screen come on and go to full brightness. Um, sometimes it'll flicker. Um, I've read some different stories about it, but... Um, these two capacitors right here, these two big shiny guys, um, next to the heat sink and that, uh, that transformer, um, those were bulging. Um, I have an old cap here. And it's a 820 microfarad 25 volt capacitor made by Capson, uh, C-A-P-X-O-N. Um, I ended up getting some Japanese capacitors. These are Chinese made capacitors which happen to not have such a good track record. Um, they do make some good stuff but I don't trust uh, their electronics. Um, or at least their capacitors. They've had many, many, many recalls and stuff on various uh, electronic items sold in the US because they use cheap quality components. Um, these capacitors here are 1000 farad, uh, 1000 microfarad at 25 volts. Um, higher temperature rating on those. Um, so, and there's also these two here, um, these are 330 farad 25 volt capacitors, as well as one on the end up here. Um, you can replace those if you see them bulging, mine happened to be okay, so I just left them alone. Um, other than that, um, pretty simple fix, uh, this board comes off with four screws, uh, unsolder the old capacitors, uh, and install the new ones, which your polarity is correct. Um, tips on getting the bezel open. Uh, I ended up using a soft plastic putty knife to uh, pry the bezel itself. This bezel happens to uh, have little snaps that go all the way around. You'll find uh, there's no screws. So I'll have to snap all these um, little tabs or just pry on them to get them to open and so you can pull the bezel off. Once you get the bezel off, um, the, the, that monitor is actually mounted in, in this case and that's installed into the uh, overall rear plastic case of, of the panel. Um, so it's pretty easy to get in there, just don't be too forceful um, and get the, the, the putty knife if you don't want to scratch um, you know, the, the bezel of the, of the monitor. I happen to actually do mine without um, putting a single mic into it, even if you look at it close, so um, you can't even tell that I've ever been in it. So, anyway, once again, two capacitors there next to the transformer in the, in the upper right corner. Um, that's, those are the two ones that on my board that were bulging, and as soon as I fixed them, you can see that the panel's lit up and it's, it's on and working right now. And uh, you can actually see it through the uh, back of the screen here. I'll go ahead and power it off. Switch here. And then power it back on. You can see how fast it actually comes on. You can see the light comes on immediately now. So, anyway, pretty quick fix. Don't go throw on the monitor away. Uh, you can actually fix these. Hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. I'm glad to help. Alright, thanks for watching.